When I was in middle school, our house caught fire. During the incident, my dad tragically lost his life while trying to save my mom and me because he couldn't escape in time. I suffered severe burns on my face at that time. I hated looking at my burned scars, as they would always bring back the horrific memories of that event. Moreover, these scars were quite noticeable, and though I wanted to get treatment, we were too poor. So I just continued going to high school without any treatment. What's with her face? Ew, that's gross. She doesn't look human, more like a monster. At school, I was constantly bullied by my classmates with such the comments. It was really hard, and since I despise my own face, I would often hide it with long bangs and keep my head down. I used to be a cheerful person, but after getting these scars, I completely lost my self-confidence and became quite gloomy. One day, the guy sitting next to me, Jack, struck up a conversation. Hey Sophie, could I take a look at your math textbook? I forgot mine. Sure, you can. I braced myself for a nasty comment when he suddenly spoke to me, but to my surprise, it was just a normal question. After that, Jack started talking to me more and more. Hey, I'm really into motorcycles. Are you interested in them, Sophie? Uh, no. Sorry. I don't really know much about them. Right, I guess most girls aren't into that stuff. My bad. Do you have any hobbies, Sophie? I'm into cooking, I guess. Really? That's awesome. I'd love to try your cooking, Sophie. Oh, it's not that great. I couldn't help but force a smile. I was surprised that someone wanted to try my cooking. Then one day it happened. Hey Sophie, what do you usually do on your days off? Eh, why do you ask? If you're okay with it, do you want to go see a movie or do something this Sunday? Uh, hmm. I was shocked. Would someone really invite a girl like me with scars on her face? Is this person for real? I've got plans this Sunday, actually. Bacha, maybe some other time then. He didn't insist. I was more puzzled than pleased, wondering why on earth he would invite someone like me. I thought it was over, but in the next week and the week after that, Jack kept asking me out. I started to feel bad for turning him down. Hey, do you dislike me, Sophie? It's not that, but... Then why not? I just don't think I measure up to someone like you, Jack. Don't worry about that stuff. But I do worry. And with that, I swept my bangs aside to show him my scars. Jack looked surprised. See, you're put off by it, aren't you? It's not that I'm put off. I just see you're concerned about your scar. Yeah, of course I am. I think I look like a monster. Don't say that. You're not a monster. You're a girl, Sophie. Jack said that almost angrily. A girl. Does he really see me just as a regular girl? I felt tears welling up from happiness. Sophie, let's get that scar looked at. Let's go to the hospital. I want to, but we can't afford it because we're too broke at home. Is that so? I'll think of something. Thanks. I was touched by the gesture, but I felt bad that he would go through any trouble for me. A few days later, Jack approached me again. Sophie, I've made a hospital appointment for us for this coming Sunday. Uh, but I don't have the money. Don't worry, it's a friend of my dad's who's running the place, so it won't cost anything this time. Really? Still, I feel bad. It's okay, really. He's a great guy, so don't sweat it. And so, I went to the hospital with Jack on Sunday. I felt really happy thinking about finally getting rid of the scar that had caused me so much suffering for years. Could such happiness really be happening to me? I went to the examination feeling elated. You've been really brave up to now. I'll make sure it's taken care of, so you can relax. The doctor was a very nice person, and I felt I could trust him. I felt at ease undergoing the surgery. And when the scars were healed and I went back to school, all my classmates were shocked. Whoa, who's that? She's super cute. The same classmates who had been so cold to me before suddenly started talking to me. But I ignored them. What now? After all this time? I was dismayed at their fair weather friendliness. The only person I felt I could truly talk to was Jack. Hey, Jack, let's go to the movies next time. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Now that my scars were healed, I felt confident about my face and decided to go on a date with Jack. As I walked down the hall, looking forward to a promised day, I saw two male classmates coming from the opposite direction. I instinctively hid behind a corner when I heard them say, Let's ride the bikes together sometime. I don't have a bike though. Really? Why don't you borrow one from Jack? I can't. I asked Jack recently and he said he sold his. What? Seriously? He sold that awesome bike. Yeah, it's such a waste. He always wanted one and worked like crazy to finally buy it. And now he says he's bored of it. 
Is he nuts or what? They laughed and walked past. Could it be? Did Jack sell his bike to pay for my surgery? I suddenly felt terrible about it. Jack, I overheard our classmates talking. Did you sell your bike? Uh, yeah, I sold it. Was it for me? No, I just got bored with it and sold it. The surgery was free. There's no way it was free. I was actually worried about that because it wasn't a trial or anything. I'm sorry, and I promise I'll repay this debt someday. Don't worry about it. Honestly, I'm just happy to go out with you, Sophie. Jack said with a smile. My heart was full of joy and a sense of obligation. Hey Jack, why did you ask me out even with my scarred face? Are you still on about that? I fell for warts inside, Sophie. You always responded so kindly whenever I talked to you. That's how it was. Thank you. I like what's inside you too, Jack. Ah, uh, thanks. And with that, Jack looked bashfully away. The day of our long-awaited date finally arrived. I dressed up as best as I could and headed to our meeting spot. I got there early and waited. Soon, two male classmates appeared. They were the ones who used to bully me. Hey, isn't that Sophie? Wearing such a cute outfit, what's the occasion? Got a date or something. Why don't you date us instead? They said, grabbing my arm. No, let go. I won't allow this. You've gotten quite bold. You used to be so quiet with that scar on your face. Hey, cut it out. When I turned around, there was Jack. You guys still hung up on the past. If you don't get lost, you know what'll happen, right? Yikes. It's a date with Jack. You changed liking a girl like her. Shut up. Get out of here, now. Jack seemed to practice boxing as a hobby, and he had a sturdy build that commanded respect from the other guys. Fine, we get it. The two guys ran off. How reassuring he was. I felt so fortunate to be on a date with someone like him. Jack, thank you, really. After that, Jack and I watched a movie together, had dinner at a restaurant, and then went to an observatory to look at the night view. I had managed to save up just enough money for the date, but Jack insisted on paying for everything. I never imagined I could have such a normal, wonderful date like any other girl. And as I looked out at the night view from the observatory, I was overwhelmed with tears. Sophie, why are you crying? I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd be able to have such a beautiful date. I feel like I've become a normal girl and it's making me so happy. Is that so? That's great. I was worried you were afraid of heights. No, it's not that. The view is amazing. I said, laughing. Then Jack's expression suddenly became serious. Hey, do you want to go out with me? Yes, if you're okay with me. Yay. Next time, I want to try the food you cook. Sure, I'll cook. What do you like? Well, I really like beef stew. Got it. Beef stew it is. I can make that anytime, so come over to my place next time. It's not much, but my mom has been wanting to meet you too. Yo, I'll come. After that, Jack and I officially started dating, and we became the acknowledged couple at school. I was no longer bullied by my classmates. Thanks to Jack's support, it feels like the days of having scars on my face are a distant memory, and now I'm living peacefully. I'm so glad I met Jack. Maybe my dad had a hand in bringing us together. I want to stay with him forever. Dad, please keep watching over us.